Hello, welcome to another review. Today I'll show you a digital SLR camera. Uh, this particular one is the Nikon D5000. This I actually bought for myself. Uh, it's my first digital SLR camera. So I'm actually moving off on the point and shoot camera. Um, this is going to be a quick overlook and I'm actually going to be doing future videos on this so as I learn more I'll show you so it's going to be a f you know it's going to keep following on this video um, I've actually been using this mainly in auto mode and uh, that's the basically what I'm going to be showing you on the first video is quickly quick review on it a uh, quick overlook and a couple of photos and videos well a couple of photos and a video clip I should say uh, that I've taken on auto in the next uh, maybe in the next month or two I'll show you some of the settings in same manual and show you some more of the bands controls here as I go um, but for means this is what they call an entry level kit I will start you off on entry level uh, let's go with the specs first uh, it's got a nice 12.3 uh, megapixel uh, it's got a lovely uh, 2.7 inch LCD screen which you can have at any way you like it's got 11 aerial uh, AF live view takes 720p videos as well which is good nice high definition quality self cleaning which is another good feature on here it takes JPEG uh, pictures you know the file form uh, the file format is JPEG but it also takes uh, NEF which also you stand for raw files uh, they are what professional uses really uh, good thing about this camera though is you can set it to take you know, your pictures in both formats which is really nice and in my fact that's what I've got it set as uh, it's got a live overview as well so you don't have to look for the for the yeah uh, the uh, oh my mind's gone blank you don't have to look for you the viewfinder. <laughs> so you, you know you just get one of them blank moments. You just can't think what you what you need to say. Uh, yeah. So you don't have to look for you the viewfinder. You can use the live uh, view. Which if I turn the camera on, that just shows you basic information on on what you got the camera set up as. So it's like your uh, ISO settings, your aperture settings, and. Uh, your, your focus point which that's what the AF is it's the focus point and the, so on uh, because I've got it in auto you won't see this on camera but as I move the camera it automatically changes the settings to try and get the best settings for the condition I'm taking in but if you want to go to your live view press this button here which is your live view and now you basically see on screen exactly what you're taking but it still shows you some of the settings at the bottom and as I move the camera again it does automatically try and adjust the settings for that so it's a really good feature but a little, nice little scroller here again that's mainly used for your scene setting I believe so I can scroll to your different scenes like uh, high key, low key, uh, night landscape party indoors sunset and so on but I'm going to be covering all of them settings in future videos I'm just sticking with auto at the moment overall it's got a nice good weight to it you know a nice stable weight to it maybe if I can do that uh, I recommend if you can to try and use the viewfinder because since I have I am getting a lot better quality uh, pictures so definitely recommend using the viewfinder where possible it's very fast taking the picture it's got a nice flash on it as well 
again it's hit OK to record video and it's quick as that but you need to be in live view to record your video but it's simple pressing OK to start your video recording and OK to stop so it's that quick it's unreal you obviously got all your play settings there so you can see what I've taken in the past as well as playback of videos, your menu and information buttons and so on which again will be covered in future videos um, in your menu you've got obviously settings to the delete your memory card your image size which you've got large medium small uh, video playback settings your ISO settings custom settings and uh, a lot more which oh, I'm actually going to do a video purely on the menu settings themselves in future videos or, or should I say in a future video but uh, good thing about this though is so if you ain't sure on a setting if you press the information it tells you what that setting does that's a nice feature uh, you know, again it's an entry level kit so you can pick up out of the box use on auto and it's going to be a lot better quality in my view than a point and shoot camera uh, don't get me wrong there's some excellent point and shoot cameras out there the last camera was excellent but I find this just a bit better quality for my needs but, you know, uh, but straight up out of the box on, on auto you can be quite happy uh, as you probably just in there, I'll turn it off and you just clean the uh, sensors. Uh, it takes SD memory cards, the Leon lithium battery. Uh, the battery only takes an hour and 40 minutes to charge up as well from flat, which is really good. And you've got a accessory shoe. Uh, obviously, this got SLR cameras, interchangeable lenses. Uh, just put this back in here. So overall, the uh, Nikon D5000 is an excellent starter kit. Uh, I'm actually going to show you some photos on screen and the video of what I've taken. So here we go. Well, it's what I've taken on this, so here we go now. now on it. Uh, this records in 720p. So it's pretty much ideal for YouTube. Uh, you obviously can go uh, higher if you want for YouTube if your video camera or camcorder supports it. Uh, but 720p this is what this supports a uh, maximum and to be honest 720p is, is perfectly fine for YouTube. So this is a video test and the sound test for the video and hopefully it turned out good alright now I'm going to go back now onto me original recording so that's the test over alright as you can see they're quite good excellent it's all done on auto uh, I made a few tweaks in the menu but nothing to really brag about and uh, like I said in future videos which I'm hoping to do about every two months as I learn the settings which I've got a book on all the different settings uh, which I've reviewed in my past videos so look up the gadget scientist go to using your digital camera uh, on my YouTube and you see it uh, overall the first GT ratings for uh, for press uh, for you know for hours packed how easy is to set up uh, for a newbie on the digital SL world and get going automatically onto auto I'm going to give you straight up GT ratings of 5 out of 5 I'm not kidding you 
this is a serious pi uh, piece of kit for any uh, anybody that's looking to move up into the digital SLR world. Now, audio for amateurs as well. So, due to ratings of five out of five, and I'm definitely recommending it so far. So, look out for the future videos about one or two every couple of months. And as always, you can follow me at geekstech.co.uk, twitter.com forward slash boargeekstech, <laughs> and you can search for us on Facebook, Geekstech, and we've got youtube.com forward slash geekstech, uh, please subscribe and rate our videos, always appreciated, and if you subscribe, I do generally subscribe back, unless you've got junk or spam on your channel, then I won't. Any questions or queries on technology, or maybe your company you want to send me something to review, sure, send me an email at wayne at geekstech.co.uk. Well, until next time, I will see you later.